the one to watch. This is 16 WAPT News Live at 5. Breaking news in Vicksburg. A truck crash spilled dozens of frozen chickens out of I-20. It happened on Highway 61 just before the Mississippi River Bridge in Warren County. The truck was carrying about 15,000 pounds of frozen chicken from Mississippi-based Sanderson Farms. Vicksburg police arrested the driver for a suspended license and careless driving. It took several hours to clean up the mess and get that highway reopened. Seven inmates from the Walnut Grove Prison were sent to the hospital after a riot. Sheriff Greg Wagner says his deputies helped put down two disturbances and two pods. The whole thing lasted about an hour. No officers injured in that fighting. As for the injured inmates, no word on their conditions. A Jackson homeowner who fought off at least three men who broke into his home overnight is speaking only to us. Oh, he said he broke the butt of the gun on your head. He yeah, said. yeah, yeah, they broke the, the rifle right across the front of my face right here. The rifle? Yeah, I found a rifle. That's what they hit me right here. The man says three men broke into his home on Myrtlewood Drive early Thursday morning. He shot two of them, but the third got away. If you know where he is, call Crime Stoppers. That number is 601-355-TIPS. McGee police say 63-year-old Jarrell Eubanks choked his roommate to death with a sandwich. You heard that right. Police say employees found 82-year-old William Park dead inside his room Tuesday at the Hillcrest Nursing Home. His daughter says she's still in shock. I don't know whether he did it on purpose or not, but they said that he put him a sandwich in his mouth and killed him. Eubanks is charged with second degree murder. The nursing home director says he can't comment because the investigation into Park's death is still ongoing. A top VA leader coming to the capital city today. The head of the VA, Sloan Gibson, is visiting hospitals across the country today to get a firsthand look at what's going on. Gibson will meet with the staff at the GV Sunny Montgomery VA Medical Center to figure out how to improve veterans access to care. During the past few months, the VA has received backlash for long wait times and lack of staff. And now to commitment 2014 and the Senate vote battle. A judge ordered a hearing for this morning. The group True the Vote is suing over the results of the Cochran McDaniel race. 16 WAPT's Mike Perchick has the story. Both sides still taking shots Thursday from the Senate primary battle. It kind of reminds me uh, um, of that old saying, you know, if you want to hide something from true the vote, you ought to put it in the law books. GOP chairman Joe Nassif talking about that group that is refiling a lawsuit. They claim election commissions in nine counties have denied access for them to check voter records. They first demanded that we order around people who don't work for us. Then they demanded that we grant them access to stuff we don't have. And now they're accused. Republican Chair Joe Nossif says he will fight the allegations from True the Vote and Counter Sue to cover legal costs. Meanwhile, Senator Thad Cochran's campaign manager is stepping down. The Thad for Mississippi website says Kirk Sims has left the position. Staff member Brad Davis will take over. Sims says he will step back from day to day activities after the primary and support the campaign in a different role going forward. Well, happening today, a cross-country bicycle trek is making a stop here in the metro. Journey of Hope is riding from the West Coast to Washington, D.C. to raise money and awareness for people with disabilities. Riders are scheduled to be at the John Bell Williams Field in Raymond from 9 this morning till 2 this afternoon. And happening this weekend, a big treat for ice cream lovers. It is the Jackson Zoo's annual ice cream safari. The 16 WAPT team will be serving red panda cake ice cream. And we're competing against other teams to be the favorite scoopers. It all starts at 10 tomorrow morning at the Jackson Zoo. And don't worry, you can get tickets at the gate. We'll talk about a big bill. What if you opened your water bill and it was $6,000? Still to come, we find out who's accountable in our special report. And we need to follow breaking news. A big rig crashed and spilled thousands of pounds of frozen chicken onto the I-20 in Warren County. They're still working to clear that scene. You're watching 16 WAPT News.